Himalayan Odyssey. The mind is on a track through rugged mountains of despair, such desolation, such untraversed terrain. Huge peaks of the Karakoram rise to be me. Then it's so easy. The mighty Indus bursts its belly. The full flow of glacial melt in high summer mixes gold with sand grain. overwhelms the soul, numbs the mind, the senses weaken, the spirit feels confined, space is deceiving, and so is time. What peace, if any, awaits me here? These dunes never end. What appears so near the feet cannot Transcend, and the whole day's walk goes by. Baltis are deaf, their ears tuned to silence, the everlasting silence of the mighty Karakorams, mother of stone, such wonders as you conceive, how can one so small dream of mentioning their skin? Yet here I am on the track of the soul to do precisely that. Is it wrong to imagine all will be well? The will will soar above such terrible foes. The heart shall transcend the loftiest powers and all will be as it must be for the wings of a shining. The snow-clad terrain cannot answer. The dunes play with the wind. The orchards bloom and fire burns my veins. The ascent is on my mind. These mountains are my domain. I trek the forests of despair. And I am light as the winds. Soaring, always soaring. The Mahors and Ipex sacrificed by the Buddhists find a new life in stone. For centuries undiscovered, they breathed free of men. And now the archaeologists gaze to decide for what it means. The roar of the mighty Indus deafens even such dreams. Rocks of magnificence Rocks of time, rocks that the waves could never wash away. 
such godly power runs in their veins and yet in their core in their heart of granite is a give me such power to stand my passion burn to a brown be hard as stone and yet in my epicenter guide the song brittle bones squeak each footstep is a mile where time and space stand still the mind moves ever so slowly how will the wings guide left behind were soft and easy in their lush body an unending series of gold and green wanted to hold me here the indus east tension spreading at will no rocks to cope with no frightening gorges no need to argue at a high pitch spirits roam searching an elusive peace the primal union of man 